tutorials here and today I'm going to show you how to make a sick background like this now this is my opinion I like this background so yeah uh, I'm going to show you how to make this background and it's really good now you have to open up Photoshop I'm, I'm going to be using Photoshop CS5 alright so first of all go to file new just uh, make a new layer my um, screen resolution is 1280 and my height is 1024 make sure you use it in pixels uh, don't copy my screen resolution it's probably not the same thing as yours but if you want to you could it doesn't matter so just click OK now basically what you do is um, make sure it's your foreground is black over here and your background is white and what you do is just alt backspace and the whole background is going to become black and now you just go to the text tool over here and then you type your text make sure you swap the colors again make it white now so you can see your text and I'm going to just write YouTube fake like that and then just go to your move uh, button over here and just move your your letter so now you're just gonna move the YouTube logo around like to the middle so hold on let me just get to the middle now since you've done that uh, go to your layer thingy over here right click it and click on duplicate layer so it's gonna be named YouTube fake copy okay now go back to your original layer and go to filter go to stylize and then click on wind sorry hold up stylize and then wind so hold on yeah click OK and now uh, choose method wind and direction from the right click OK then you can get that kind of effect now just click control F on a Mac it's gonna be uh, command F I think so you're gonna go back to filter go to stylize go to wind and now go from the left click OK and then click on control F Now it depends on your text, you might not really see your text, but sorry, don't worry. We're gonna get to that later. So we click on image, click on image rotation, go 90 degrees counterclockwise, then go to filter, stylize, wind, keep the same uh, settings, and click OK. Click CGL F, CGL F, CGL F, three times, and then go back to filter go to stylize go to wind now go from the right click OK and shoot your LF twice and now uh, go to your image image rotation and go to 90 degrees counterclockwise now now really you can't really see shit so but that that doesn't really matter that's okay now when you've done that uh, go to your other copy your second copy uh no 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 sorry stay on the original copy right click it so hold on for some reason my computer won't let me right click it while I'm recording so basically just double click it and then this blending option will pop up go to the color overlay and as you see that you can really see the text better but since I really would love red but for YouTube purposes I'm just gonna make it a little blue 
So right there. Probably a little darker. Right there. That looks sick. Now just click OK and leave that. Now go to your other copy. Right click it. I mean, sorry. Double click it. And check in everything except bevel and emboss. This one. You don't have to. Don't check these. Then, so check drop shadow, inner shadow, auto glow, inner glow, satan, color overlay, gradient overlay, pattern overlay, and stroke. Now go to color overlay, and you can change that. I'm gonna make it, so I'll keep it as black. Oh no, I'll, I'll go to green. So, right there. And then in gradient overlay, or stroke, yeah, stroke. And stroke just go to size and just go if you want your text to be a little bold just go to size and just go to like size 18 I guess that's too bold so I'll go to size 12 alright that's alright so click OK and there's your text now basically what you do is click on file save as just wait and name it as anything and save it on your desktop save it as JPEG click save and just wait for a second now this JPEG options will pop up put it to your highest resolution then click OK and now it's just gonna load which means saving and uh, to make this as your desktop background you have to go back to your uh, desktop this is the image well, with the one that I have right now right click it and just set as desktop background so yeah my computer is running slow for some reason cause probably cause I'm recording so yeah so I'm gonna I set it at desktop, desktop background and there you go YouTube fake now if you're wondering what font this was this the font's name is um, uh, what's it called? It's called uh, Birth of a Hero, and um, the, I have other ones, Night Sky, and there's another one called Earth Boy, and you can just type these up, and um, and search this font, and just put it in font location, and I go to dafont.com. I'll put these in the description below. If you like this video, and if you love the wallpapers, if you love, like your desktop background, please subscribe on. The on the top button over there. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.